Hi, this is Dr. Brooks, and again, I wanted to introduce a patient that I'm very happy to have coming to my practice. Her name is Ruth, and I'm going to ask her a few questions. Ruth, um, how long have you had diabetes? For 30 plus years. 30 plus years, huh? Yes. And uh, what are you taking for treatment? I'm using metformin. Now, Ruth, if I remember correctly, you were on insulin maybe 25 years ago. Correct. That was, I think, for six months was the longest time that I had been on insulin. How'd you get off insulin? Well, because I began to take my diabetes seriously, and I was able to get off of insulin and get on metformin. So, you know, I heard people say, if you're on insulin, you're always on insulin. That's not true, is it, Ruth? No, okay. definitely not true. Now, Ruth, um, I'm going to ask you a little bit more. I don't think getting off insulin or doing well is by luck. What was your job before you retired? Before I retired, I was the supervisor at a child care center for Long Beach Unified School District. That was my task. And now, I understand today Ruth is since her retirement, she volunteers in several very important organizations in Long Beach. Ruth, tell me something about, I know this is a private question, but Ruth in advance agreed to talk about it. What was your weight about uh, when you retired? Oh, when I retired, I think it was around 258. 258. Mm -hmm. And that's about uh, when you were 65 years old. That's correct. That's 258 correct. pounds, huh? Okay. Ruth, what's your weight now? Today I weighed at nine, uh, 197. That was a little up from Whoa. the first time. <laughs> Wait a minute. The fans and the audience are going wild over that. Okay. So how did you do it? Well, because I took responsibility for myself and I decided that I was going to do what I needed to do to improve my quality of life. So that has been my thing. I try to really focus on not going over to 200 again. So a steady loss of weight with a big improvement in diabetes. Success with diabetes is not the doctor. It's within the patient. This kind of success is what we're looking for. And now, Ruth, now be honest. I'm not going to ask you for your card to identify your oh. age, but how old are you? I am 86. I will become 87 in November. That's the truth. Isn't that something? And Ruth was telling me what's fun for her is that her granddaughter is going into medicine after having a major in biology and a minor in chemistry but first she's going to take a master's degree because education is so important you're proud huh grandma very proud very yeah. proud very proud so thank you very much for the interview today well thank you very much for all your care and information over these 30 plus years a doctor is very lucky when a patient keeps coming to his office. That's an honor. Thank you.